On this part, we are going to update the action in the home controller to support images upload. And for that, we need to first update the view model and the action itself. In Visual Studio, I'll first go to the post VM. So right click, then go to definition. And then here I'm going to create a new property, which is going to be of type I form file. The I form file represents a file which can be sent over an HTTP request. Let us name this property image, because if you want, you can also use iPhone file to support video uploads, but in our app, we're just going to support images. Just going to save. And now let us go to the home controller where we are going to upload the image. So in here we create the post or basically just the post object. Now down here, we are going to check if the post.image does have some data. And if it has some data, we are going to upload the image for now to the root folder. And then in the upcoming parts, you'll learn how you can update this image to a third party service, like it can be Google Cloud, AWS, or Azure. So in here, that just check and save the image. And to check, we just basically type in here if the post.image is different from null, but also has some content because it can be like an empty image. So it's just like it's different from null, but it doesn't have any content inside it. For that, we need to add in here and the post.image.length is greater than zero. Now let us define the path to the root folder. For that, string root folder path is equal to path.combine. We get the current directory, which is like where this home controller is located. Then we have the root folder. And then after the root folder, we check for the images folder. You can also remove this one and just get the root folder and then make sure that you create this images folder before you start saving anything. we we'll just do it that way. And here, let us check if the user has uploaded an image or not. For that, we type in here post.image.content type, and then it contains image. Only then we will try to upload it. So let's just create in here now a string and then just use the same naming convention, root folder path for images is equal to, and this is just going to be the combination of the root folder path and a name images. And then down here, we are just going to make sure that it exists. So directory dot create directory, and this is going to create the folder. Now that we have the folder, we have the file, it is time to create a file name. So string and then file name. And this can be just like a unique combination, which can be like a GUID and also the file name at the end. And here you can also add the date. So basically just use whatever you want, as long as the file name is going to always be unique. So we have the file name, we have where we want to store this file. We create the file path and this is like the full URL of the file. And now we are going to use a file stream to just save the file to this specified path. For that, using and then var stream is equal to new file stream. This takes two parameters, the file path and also the file mode. Since we are creating a new file, the file mode is going to be create. So file mode and then dot create. And then down here, just type await post dot image and then copy to async. This just copies the file. And if everything is successful, what we want to do is that we want to now update the image URL. So basically down here, we set the URL to the new post object. And that is going to be new post 
dot image URL and that is going to be images slash file name. And then we don't need to change anything else because now we just basically add the post to the DB context and then we send it to the database. This is all that you need to change on the action side. On the next part, you'll learn how to upload and preview an image on the view side.